Hey guys, for this video we're bringing back tips and tricks and for this tip and trick we're going to see how a specific PLA filament can use acetone to smooth it out. Let's get to it. Okay, so for today's tips and tricks we are going to be talking about the, this PLA, specifically the light brown color from Micro Center. And it's probably an Inland. I think that's the brand that it is. If it's not Inland, I don't remember what it is, but it's the one that's specifically light brown. And the sticker looks just like this. So we have 1.75 millimeter PLA from Micro Center. This stuff is slightly different than most of their other PLAs. There's a couple that are sort of like this, where you can take a part with regular print lines and smooth it out with acetone. That's right, PLA that smooths with acetone. So it's not like ABS where it would literally just melt if you took a rag of acetone and wiped it on this and this was ABS, it would just melt and deform and all that. But this stuff has additives in it for the coloring that makes it so when you put a rag with acetone on it and polish it out, it smooths the lines together so that way it's like doing a pre-sanding phase. So normally with something like this that has a very shallow curve, you'd be sanding this and sanding this and then filling it and sanding it and filling it and all that. But with this, the acetone is able to smooth those lines over and push them into each other and make the part stronger. And then you're able to do the sanding and then a little bit of smoothing and then filling if you need to. But it takes a couple of steps out of the filling process for actual PLA prints. And you might recognize what these are from because I'm doing a Thor build and this might possibly be parts from the Thor build. I designed these myself and I designed them a little too thin just for the printer to print. So I used some water weld from JB just to put on the inside to make it a little stronger when I'm sanding so I don't accidentally break it or something like that and it stays the right shape. Other than that though, this tips and tricks is pretty much over so this reprises the role of tips and tricks coming back just short little things that help you out and i hope you guys get use out of this because if you have a printer that only prints with pla you usually can't use acetone for smoothing and the chemicals that they offer are either impossible to get or just super toxic so i hope this helps you guys out Hey guys, thanks again for watching this video. If you don't know what Micro Center is, look around and see if there's anyone near you. If there's not, you can still go online and buy their stuff, I think, and you can find them online. But it's specifically the light brown PLA filament. There's a couple more that are like this, but I think this prints the best quality, and it's a little cheaper at the one I'm at just because it's an undesirable color. So it's only $16 as opposed to like 18 or 20 for a full kilogram spool. Other than that, if you liked this video, please give it a like. Leave a comment below about something else you want to see me do with tips and tricks about, which is supposed to be a short video that's just like a tip or a trick. Or if you have any questions about what I do, I could probably do a tip and trick on that. You can see some of my other videos over here where I make stuff. And you can see probably something I'm making related to Thor, which is those props that I was just showing you. And I also do parkour. And you can subscribe over here. If you subscribe, you'll see a lot more of my content where I'm doing all the stuff that I talked about. All right, see you then.